Hello everyone and welcome in. Welcome to Astrology Saturday with your host with the most, Chad the Maverick. So we're going to be going through the astrology for the upcoming week's time frame. We are in Pisces season, right? We are straight in the middle of Pisces season right now. And we're about to be heading into this new moon in Pisces by the end of the week, right? So right now what we're going to be doing is that we're preparing ourselves for the most magical new moon of the year, right? And the reason why this is the most magical is because one, it's the last and final new moon before we enter into Aries season, right? And once Aries season starts, we are in a new astrological year, right? So this is what's going to be going on um, as far as this week is concerned. We're heading into like a lot of this Pisces energy. We're going to be joining up with Neptune, which is what I want to be highlighting so much today. Like Neptune's um, conjunction to the sun and moon is going to be super, super important as far as getting into this Neptune energy, this dreamlike energy, <clears throat> pushing everything forward such as that, right? So be sure to be ready to let go and let the universe bring you into these next great steps, right? Uh, this is a lot of letting go form of energy, right? Um, the thing about Pisces energy is that it's an energy of undoing. <clears throat> Being that it's the final zodiac sign, it is a sign that, in my personal opinion, is closest to like the, the universe or the outer layer, so to speak, right? That's why I'm, when I talk about Pisces energy, these are people that are very much going to be people that are souls living a human experience, right? And although we all are, these are going to be like people that are very much highlighted with this certain type of energy. Not only that, intuitions are running high for this whole entire week, right? So intuitions, emotions, everything along the lines of that, we've reached the mid stage of Pisces. So now we're in this other portion of Pisces, right? As a matter of fact, we are in the second decan of Pisces for those who have went to my decan class the other day, right? Um, Speaking of classes, I am starting, starting on Monday, right? For any of you who've been to my Tarot Tuesdays, for any of you who have been supportive of like any of the tarot polls that I did or gotten a reading for tarot, anything along the lines of that, I am doing a tarot one-on-one series with House of Intuition. We are going to be starting Monday, and for the next four weeks after that, we're going to be going through the basics of tarot. And I want to be teaching you all like tarot from the ground up. If you went to my astrology 101, you saw me teach astrology from the ground up. This tarot 101 is going to be the same type of deal. We're going through all the tarot. We're going through the elements of tarot. We're going through the suits. We're going through the major arcana, the minor arcana. And then we're even going to be being or teaching how to read a self-spread and how to actually start reading for other people in that process. So be sure to check out the Tarot 101. All of the information is going to be on the website. So be sure to go to the website. It's going to be under a series. If you want to order all of them in advance, please order them all individually and like select them all individually. They're not all in one package though. Be sure to just order everyone individually, and that's how we're going to be doing it for this Tarot 101. So I'm very excited to be starting that with you all. I like to branch together um, all of these type of things so you can end up like learning these things. And on top of that, being that it's Pisces season, this is one of the most magical times to pick up Tarot. <laughs> you know what I mean? So like that's pretty much what's going to be going on in regards to that, right? And for those of you who are also looking and trying to know, I'm also finishing up the Astrology 102 series, right? So we have two more classes for the Astrology 102 series. If you missed the ones beforehand, perfectly fine. You can hop right into the next ones. But um, we we're going through aspects coming up this Wednesday, right? So on Wednesday at 6 p.m. PST, which is the time of all the classes, by the way, 6 p.m. PST, the tickets are $10 a piece. And we go off for that whole entire hour. And if you who've been to my live streams or been in my classes, you know that's what's up. Someone's asked, what is the best way to be prepared for the new moon? Letting go and letting the universe. I'm going to be getting into how this is going to be working very soon. And on top of that, the best way to get prepared for the new moon is to go actually to the new moon class that I'm hosting this Friday, right? So this Friday, we're having the Harness the Energy class, and it's going to be for the new moon in Pisces. So if you want to join us with that, same thing for um, the other new moon and full moon classes that we typically do. I go through the astrology. I go through what's going on. I go through all 12 zodiac signs. I pull cards for your sun, moon, and rising. We go through the whole thing. It's a whole setup. I teach you how to best manifest based off your zodiac sign and what energies you need to look at 
based off of your zodiac sign towards this next portion. So if you want to know what to specifically do and how you can even like utilize these energies when it comes to your intentions and your manifestations, be sure to do that. Grab the new moon and Pisces candle from House of Intuition for it as well. If you really want to like super amplify that, so be sure to run into a house and grab that. But yeah, someone said they just received their HOI new moon candle today. Perfect. So if you have a HOI new moon candle and you want to be able to like use it and utilize it and know what all the energies are going on with this, please be sure to sign up for that and I'll be showing you. And trust me when I say it, this is a very powerful, very powerful new moon for manifestation, like one of the most powerful. So be sure to check all of that out and I'll be explaining that a little bit in this live stream, but in the classes where we're really gonna get down into the nitty gritty. So <laughs> appreciate you all for, for that portion, right? So someone said, go off, get them. You already know, that's not even a question. Anyway, <laughs> if anyone's um actually looking for anything with me across the board, my name is Chad the Maverick. It'll also be pinned down at the bottom. Let me make sure I add a comment as well. So y'all can see what's going on right here. Perfect. So yeah, that's what's going to be going on. So you um, like I said, you want to find me? It's Chad the Maverick across the board, and that's where you can go and locate that. But now, <laughs> what time? Friday, six p.m. PST. I, I stay very consistent <laughs> when it comes to the time frames. It's six p.m. PST across the board, all on Zoom, and we have a fun time. Now, what's up for the week, right? What's going on this week? How? What are we getting into this week? What's up? Why, why are we here, right? <laughs> so when it comes to this upcoming week, right now we are um, in the moon in Sagittarius phase, right? So we're in this moon in Sagittarius. So we're, we're really starting this off with like, what's the vision of what we want to launch towards? And I think within the last few days, um, there was a lot of heavy energy when that moon was in Scorpio. So like... I want to say last week, halfway to the week, and I'm sure I mentioned it in the last live stream, but that moon in Scorpio transit was super, super heavy. With Pisces making this try, so like that was a very, very like emotional and having to get through like how you feel type of time frames, right? A lot of transformation when it comes to emotions and such like that was happening as well with that moon in Scorpio phase. Now the moon's been in Sagittarius, so now it's like okay. You're starting to see the bigger picture. So it's like, okay, this is the bigger picture. This is what's been going on. Okay, I start to see where this can go. I can see the trajectory of this. This is the type of energy that starts to roll in with that um, moon in Sagittarius that was just happening, right? Mind you, this moon in Sagittarius just also passed by the South Node. So as it passes by the South Node, these are also kind of unearthing these certain um, philosophies that are within you, right? These certain philosophies, these certain things. If you were um, used to be more akin to something else. This is kind of reminding me of someone who used to be like a little bit more, more carefree, a little bit more like out in the open and just like having a grand time until like things shut down and then they started to like kind of dwindle. But this is this person or this like energy of this person starting to step back up into that like that happy go luckiness that like, okay, we can start doing this. And a lot of that also has to do with Mars that just went into Gemini, right? So with Mars that just went into Gemini, this is also going to be making a new scenario for people who want to start to bridge in new things, new ideas, new invention. This is a very inventive time as well. Mars and Gemini is like about the communications, about the camaraderie. This is also about commerce as well, um, to a certain degree, like a certain um, drive when it comes to like certain commerce and such like that. There's more... Um, people pushing forward and advocating for themselves and the things that they do when it comes to this Mars and Gemini and then vice versa. But that's what the communication is going to be in this process, right? So that's what's going to be happening a little bit with all the energies that are going on with that, right? How much is the class on Friday? All the classes are 10 bucks, right? Um, they're all 10 bucks. As a matter of fact, I think I saw a sale, as a matter of fact, in the newsletter. So be sure to sign up for the newsletter because I believe there was a sale, at least on the tarot classes. So definitely check that out at the 10% off. So be sure to look at the newsletter if you have it. If not and you don't get it, sign up for the newsletter. You never know what we end up having in store for you all, right? Um, you just realized Mercury and Jupiter conjunction ruled are in the nose. So, yo... Mercury and Jupiter just made its conjunction recently, too. So, like, Mercury and Jupiter just made its conjunction um, very, very recently. I want to say it was, like, it was a few days back. But the whole idea when Mercury and Jupiter started conjoining is that the launch um, of your mind and what your desires, like, really wanted put, took the forefront. 
now with this moon and Sag, we're like looking at what that desire was. How did that take the forefront and really analyzing how to keep going forward? Because come by the end of today, we're going into the moon in Capricorn, right? When the moon is in Capricorn, we get a little bit more industrial about the things that we're trying to do. We get a little bit more of um, a drive as to what we need to accomplish. We get a little more ambitions towards the things that we want to get done. We also have a energy. And this is, I'm going to explain it this way so it makes sense. This is also the last time, the last energies that you get where you have like full control of like your emotional scale until after the week is over. And I don't want to say it like that, but I need to say it like that because we have Neptune coming up with everything else, right? Um, so the, what happens with this, let's, let's explain Neptune a little bit, right? Neptune is a great dissolver, but Neptune is also a very like genie like energy, right? Um, think like genie from Aladdin, how he was able to like pull up whatever. So when it comes to Neptune being getting to the sun, let's start with that, right? So the sun is going to hit Neptune on the 10th. So coming up on Wednesday, right? The moon in Capricorn is going to be going on uh, starting tonight to tomorrow. Then it's the moon in Aquarius. Then we have the sun making its conjunction to Neptune. But I want to talk about the sun in conjunction Neptune because this is very important, right? So the sun making its conjunction to Neptune. Our personas are going to literally start to like dissolve in certain ways. And the reason why it's dissolving in a certain ways is because the universe wants you to accept your personal artistry. It wants you to accept your artistry. It wants you to accept your role as a creator. It wants you to accept your role as a spirit who's trying to push out unconditional love. Unconditional love is also a very strong point when it comes to this week, right? True unconditional love. Not unconditional love because it's supposed to be unconditional. Not unconditional love because it's like, oh, I was conditioned to be unconditional. Like, no. The reason what is unconditional love is really going to be about is just a tapping in and like the heart to heart communications, right? And a lot of heart to heart communications can even pop up even stronger because of this Mars and Gemini aspect, right? So if you meet somebody and you have like a really like deep conversation and you're like, what? Um, when like uh that happens, then you don't know what's going on with that. One second, I think someone said that. I don't know if they can't hear me or anything, but I'm gonna try to speak up a little bit anyway. But when it comes to the sun making its conjunction to Neptune, right? Um, sun conjunction to Neptune is the dissolving of like the ego. It's the dissolving of wanting to like be in a certain place at a certain time and just accepting the spirit that is allowing you to push you forward. And the more that you let go and let spirit try to like guide you on the path and on the way, the easier the transition is going to be for you. The easier it is going to be as far as that. But mind you, this is a very emotional time. I'm not going to sit here and act like it's not. It's a very emotional time. It is a very like letting go time. And sometimes it can bring up a lot of like fears. Sometimes it can bring up a lot of like very integral things about us, right? And the reason why this is going on is because this is trying to kind of show you the the depth and the sincerity of where your emotions are, right? It's trying to show you the depth and the sincerity about how you can go about the rest of your day-to-day -day life. These are all things that are being critically highlighted when it comes to sun making its conjunction to Neptune, right? So be sure to, if you have the time or if you have whatever the case is, I highly recommend for everyone this week to listen to like these like cool binaural frequencies, listen to some like um like abundance music, listen to anything along the lines of that. Just get the nice atmosphere. If you got like cool lights, put some cool lights on. Like definitely get yourself into a like cool and spiritual space. If you have cleansing that you can do, this is a great week for a cleansing. As a matter of fact, this new moon in Pisces would be an excellent week for some spring cleaning. But not just regular spring cleaning as far as moving these things out, although that is also very important. This spring cleaning is going to be very much about like the energy, right? Someone said 432 hertz, right? Yes, listen to like some 432 hertz, 528, 639, anything along the lines of that. Like just listen to those frequencies, get you involved with those um sounds and such like that. And that's what's really going to be helping with everything else you kind of have to almost reprogram your brain to be more in the spiritual nature right reprogram your brain to be more in that so if you can program
So if you can do a cleanse, um, as far as, sorry about that, but if you do a cleanse as far as like smudging is concerned or um, the smoke cleansing and such like that is concerned, please be able to do so. But yeah, so basically just do everything along the lines of that and get that going, right? Now, um, after this, or let's go, let's backtrack a little bit, right? So I was just talking about the sun conjunct Neptune and that's the letting go. But let's talk about Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. Why are these days important to lead us into the other part, right? So, and I know I'm jumping, but like, follow me here. This is the reason why I'm doing it this way. So, um, if someone said, which, which hurts, honestly, you can listen to whatever music gravitates to you. So if you like open up like, um, uh, like, uh, YouTube, right? You just look up like binary beats or you look up whatever vibe that you're trying to go for. Let's say you're trying to like work with the chakras or something. You can look up root chakra music and something will pop up and they usually have hurts there, right? Or let's say you're like, I want to manifest more money or like oh i want to just like unlock my personal magic they have like the nikola tesla number um binary beats and stuff like that so be sure to just look that up and whatever resonates with you go with, right i do not recommend though one thing i will not recommend is if you do go to these things and you see like a crown or a third eye and you haven't done the root work don't do that i would just suggest you not you do whatever it is you want to do, but that I've seen that very much mess up people's equilibrium um, when they don't have themselves grounded first. So I highly recommend trying to like ground yourself a bit too, and that's the general purpose, right? Definitely recommend some grounding this week because there's a lot of letting go this week. So if you can stay as grounded as you can while also being able to let go, then that's how that ends up working, right? So um, definitely be sure to do some things along the lines of that. But like I said, back to this week. So Sunday, Monday. Or Sunday, we have the moon in Capricorn. So this is you really starting to develop, like I said, a certain sense of like seriousness to what you want your dream to be. And this is the last time I would um, they pretty much say where it's like a complete, you can kind of have a real control on the emotional part until the end of the week. But once Monday and Tuesday start to go in, the moon goes into Aquarius, right? And when the moon goes into Aquarius, we're accepting our humanitarian natures we're accepting our humanitarian values a little bit more but not only that we're also integrating a certain sense of divine logic that we all have right so this divine logic that we all have and that we're integrating to is going to be pretty much directly from that someone said bay leaves i mean sure like if that's what you resonate with as far as like cleansing or something like that i would definitely just recommend with like using whatever's there if you don't know what to use and you don't know what to go to hop into a house of intuition they'll be more than willing to guide you as far as like what you can end up doing so definitely be sure to do that um yeah so uh what's the next part cool so after this moon and aquarius portion right that's when we get into the rest of the moon and pisces so when the moon goes into pisces after this right well six um three six nine is a great one too that's the tesla number um synchronicities but when it comes to what's it called okay the rest of the week right um, lighting candles is great. I actually, I highly recommend if you have a candle to light a candle for the new moon in Pisces with actual intention. I know a lot of people talk about like manifestation and like manifest this, manifest that. I'm, I also use the uh, tracking of the astrology as well when it comes to these things. So when it's like the new moon in Pisces on Neptune, this is a huge like wish energy that is happening. Even for people that don't do candle stuff right so you know like when you see a movie and there's like a little kid and they wish upon a star or something like that and then next thing you know some weird stuff happens that is very much a new moon and pisces kind of energy where it's like hey i want to get this thing and next thing you know like something random happens and they're on some like mythical adventure and some you know what i mean like that's that's just the that's the type of thing that kind of comes in with this pisces energy it really just launches you into a new step of that but what's the secret behind that and even the movies like that they always try to like tell people to like follow their heart right so um it's very much about like oh follow your heart and not just like your heart but like your divine heart not just your heart you're like unconditional love type of heart like the heart that you have as a spirit as a soul you know what i mean um, that's really what's going to be going on there. Check to your moon sign if you want to know like what your soul and your spirit is going to be saying, right? What's your moon sign? That's going to be showing you what you need to tap into more, right? Um, and so when it comes to, like I said, moon and Pisces and as it starts to enter, you're going to feel it. And I'm going to be real. Like this is going to be 
one of those things that you are going to feel. Someone said check Pisces placement facts. For those who are more advanced and know how to look at their chart, look at where Pisces is going on in your chart. If you don't know where that is, be sure to go to the um the class that I have anyway, and I'll break it down in a way so you understand what you need to do in general. But um, if anything, check your Pisces placements, checks where that's going on, right? So um, that's pretty much what's, like I said, going on with that. Moon and Pisces transitioning into the letting go, into this magical state, into this. This is a time to invoke this inner and personal magic. How are you going to be living by your magic? How are you going to be living by your abilities to create, by your ability to um, change the things and change the world around you based off of how you feel, based off of your intuition? These are the things that are going to be going through, right? So... Now, what's going on at the end of the week, right? So mind you, next Saturday, I'm going to be live again on the actual new moon in Pisces. So I'll be breaking that down as far as how we're moving forward from there. But, well, mostly in the class. If you really want to know what's going on with the new moon in Pisces, please go to the class on Friday. It's an hour long. I really do break down a lot of information in these classes. Like, um, And it's only 10 bucks. So if you do pull up i I really i I, i'm very much a person who's about sharing the wealth as far as like certain knowledge is concerned so if you can catch up with it then you're gonna know and that's how it is and i really recommend it i make sure that i break it down in a way where someone that's advanced can learn something someone that's intermediate can learn something and someone who doesn't even know what a moon sign is can still learn something so be sure to sign up for that in the process a lot of people are talking about chiron right now i've been talking about chiron for a grip um chiron has been Chiron is an amazing teacher, but the thing about Chiron being the amazing teacher is that it's meant to very much like strip away, <laughs> and like it's, it's meant to like use the um, it's meant to strip away what you like. It's it's hard to explain Chiron because Chiron is just like a it, it utilizes your pain of humanity, right? So. Although you are a soul living a human experience, Chiron is your like human wound, right? It is the part that makes you the most human is Chiron, right? So Chiron in Aries is making everyone the most human, is making everyone having to like be this part of this personality, be this, right? Um, so that's a lot that's going on with Chiron. I, I have been talking about Chiron a handful in my work, and I definitely include it in like all my like readings and such. But um, yeah, outside of that, when is the new moon? The new moon is going to be on this upcoming saturday so upcoming saturday next saturday is the new moon but friday is the class that we have on the new moon so that's what's going to be going on like for that upcoming week's time frame right so this is the road to the new moon in pisces and that's why i want to show you hey neptune's involved hey this is involved like venus is going to also be involved with this um sun and moon thing so this is honestly a time frame where it's like you're going to, if you're already connected with the special someone, that's going to be like a way deeper connection. If you're looking for that special someone, that person can literally just pop up. Like the new moon of Pisces is wild as far as like <laughs> the things that end up like happening to that. Um, someone said they love the explanation about Chiron. Thank you so much. Um, shout out to the Leo King. He helped really like solidify that in my head um because he has chiron in an important um place but yeah that was something that I definitely helped that out so shout out to him for that um we're getting into this next portion right uh word ending off the, the week basically right moon and pisces all throughout the rest please be patient with yourself and drink a lot of water even if you're not good at drinking water be sure that you drink a lot of water this is going to be a week where it's like, you need to drink a lot of water. You need to stay hydrated. You need to stay like whatever that you can. Be sure that you like, you know, take yourself a nice cleansing bath. Grab yourself some bath and beauty stuff from house. Like really let yourself release. And because this is the final Zodiac season, before we enter into the next Zodiac year, <laughs> this is the last letting go and to be very honest with you and i mentioned this a little bit beforehand while we were in the new year phase right but i was saying i'm like 2020 technically ended in january right but the energy of 2020 honestly isn't going to start to transition into something different until this um airy season starts right and that's a differential and to be to keep it in um the frame and the reference as far as everything else is concerned the last time we entered airy season 
was when everyone went on lockdown, right? So, like, so when everyone went on lockdown was the last time every season. I will not forget when that happened. It said zero degrees. Oh, Saturn, Saturn said zero degrees Aquarius. And it said, everybody go in the house. You're done. <laughs> Saturn went to zero degrees for one minute. And everything was like, nope. Got to shut down. Nope. Sorry. Everything got to stop. Um, I think it's funny because I'm an astrologist, so I literally see the patterns. It's not funny, but it's one of those things where it's like you see it, and you're like, "This, there's no way. There's, there's no way." Like even if you didn't believe in astrology, and you saw that it just moved right there, and immediately after it hit zero degrees, everything shut down. I'm te- you can't make this up. You can't make this up. Like, um, so be sure to look back at the astrology if you're into astrology and you want to like see what's going on. Look at that. It was March 21st last year that happened. So now we're into a new energetic new year. Thank you, Essence Astro. Yeah. So we're in a new energetic new year, right? So now it's this new energetic new year. These are the final undoings, right? All the Pisces season and all this Neptune energy and all these feelings and all these emotions and all these intuitions and all that, 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 that. <laughs> all of these are like the final, um, almost the final straw in a sense, right? Of like this last year's energy. It's like the final straw. It's to like letting go. You are not the same person you were last year. And if you were, I'm very concerned. Like, I'm, I'm very actually concerned for you. If you are the same exact person as um, last year when this started, I, I don't know how you did it. You may have, like, the most strong tourist placements of all time. Or maybe you're, like, you're a lot of capping. I don't know how you did it, but whatever as far as everyone else though we all have had to make major transitions within our life in one area or another right so now we're entering into this energetic new year what's the final undoings that you have to do how can you let go of those last things that you have that hold you back how can you start believing in yourself to make these things forward if you want to know how to best believe in that go to the class on friday i'm literally going to break this down to a science like, I have the chart. I have the chart up right here. <laughs> like, I have the chart up right here. I show you all the chart. I literally go through everything else like that. I um, appreciate y'all being down in the chat and in the comments and stuff like that and showing love. Appreciate all that. But, um, yeah, so that's what's going to be going on in that regard. So, yeah, so definitely show up for Friday. We have the harness, the energy of the Pisces new moon. I'm going to be teaching you all how to manifest with the most potent energy of this astrological year and the last energy of it so it's like the last it's the final wish <laughs> where we enter into the next zodiac season right um and then also monday I, on monday what am i talking about tarot 101 we're starting tarot 101 i'm going through all the all the suits in tarot coming up this um uh, monday and that following monday every monday is going to be ten dollars a piece we have the whole series so if you want to learn tarot from the ground up even if you know tarot and you just want to get like a little bit more info or everything else like that i like to include little tidbits from uh numerology i like to include little tidbits from astrology i like to they basically break all that down um but yeah the class is at 6 p.m pst for every class that i am mentioning right um, so Monday, that's tarot, right? And on Wednesday, we're finishing out the Astrology 102 class with the last two classes for the upcoming two weeks. So please sign up for both of those in advance. But um, Wednesday, we have the rest of the Astrology 101. So I'm going to be teaching you all how the planets communicate. So if you've been watching my live streams and you hear me say like Mars square Venus and Mercury conjunct Jupiter and this, that, and the third, and you're like, what are you saying? And you want to know how to interpret it? That's the thing to go to, right? So that's um how that's gonna be popping up. Someone said, Can you tell me why I'm seeing ten, 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 one on one, three, 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 four, four, four? Um I did a class on synchronicities on two 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 not too long ago, ironically enough. But um <laughs> um the whole idea behind like you seeing all these numbers and all these signs and all these synchronicities is all of this Pisces energy. It is showing you that the veil is thin, it is trying to allow you to let go and open up to spirit in order for all of these things to really roll in like if you see these numbers the universe is moving in your favor and you are actively working with the universe towards your actual dreams if you want to sign up for any of the classes the classes are all on the house intuition website should be under the part that says online schedule and if anything you will see the astrology 102 classes pop up and you can click on those so definitely sign up for like i said the tarot 101 the rest of the astrology 102 and on friday we are going off with this new moon and pisces so be sure to um check all of that out i appreciate you all so much for showing up and i appreciate the love that you've been showing thank you so much if you want to find me and where i'm at chad the maverick all across the board 
Um, that's where you can find me. You can also find me, like I said, with the classes and such like that. So, yeah, outside of that, I appreciate you all for showing up. Thank you so much for the love. And until next time, you have a great one. Have a blessed one and enjoy your upcoming magical week. <laughs> have a great one, everyone. Peace out.